Hey guys, how in the world are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a great day at Rainbow School. I wish I could go to Rainbow School, but they tell me I'm too old. <clears throat> you know, I used to come over there, and I think I told you last week, I used to come and, and be able to read, and, and I just like to come over there and read, and read books about uh, Splat the Cat and and the cat in the hat, and oh, we read all kinds of stuff. Oh, I remember we used to read about Peppa Pig. Y'all know, y'all know about Peppa Pig? Say, I used to do Peppa. Hey, boy, it's a Peppa Pig. I, I think it's uh, been a long time since I talked about Peppa Pig. But Peppa Pig, oh, she had a, a brother named George, and George said. <laughs> And I, I remember a little bit about Peppa Pig. I'll have to get, I wonder if I got any Peppa Pig books over here. Let's see. Oh, I bought me some books. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, find my Peppa Pig books. I don't know if I've got any Peppa Pig books over there. But I'll tell you what I do have today. I've got Clifford the Big Red Dog. So we're going to talk about Clifford here in a minute. But I want to make sure everybody's here. Who all's here today? Now, I know Caleb. Are you? Caleb, hey. When I call your name, it's just like, hey, hey there. You can say, hey, granddad, because that's what Caleb called me. Say, um. What about Freddy? Freddy? Freddy, you here? How you go? And Ethan? Ethan? Oh, Christian? Uh, Christian? Yeah. Josh? Oh, wow, man. I'm glad y'all are here today. Rehan? 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 Yeah, that's your name. I got it. I got it. Um, who else is here? Uh, Remy? Oh, yeah. Good to see you, John. Good to see you, John. There's Libby. Hello, Libby. How you doing? Good to see y'all. And uh, Rochon. Yeah, man, it's good to see you too. Good to see all of y'all. And then, of course, there's Caleb and, and uh, all the helpers that are in the class. Let me fix up something right here. Got to change one little thing. Okay. I want to make sure I save y'all's names right, so I'll be sure to know when y'all are here. Well, let's look at Clifford the Big Red Dog. We're going to read this book here in a second. Y'all have a dog? You know, when I was a little bitty, bitty, bitty boy, I had a, a black and white dog named Peanuts. And I had Peanuts. I think I lived in Florida then. And I had a dog, little dog named Peanuts. And, and then we moved back <clears throat> to Birmingham and... And I can remember one day my dad came home from doing something, working or whatever. And um, dad came home and, and, and he, I can remember when he pulled up there and he opened up the door and out jumped a little puppy. And he had found a little puppy that was on the side of the road. And uh, he brought that little puppy home and we named it Poochie. <laughs> and so I had, a, I had a Poochie dog named Poochie. <laughs> and uh, we lived in Birmingham then. That was a long time ago. Hey, hey, before I read this, let me show you something. Let me show you a trick. And you could do this when you get home and, and show your brother, show your sister, show your mom and dad. So look, I want you to see a, a trick I learned, okay? I'll show you how to do it. All right, here. See, you take your hand like this, like this right here. And you, you take your hand, take the other hand, you go, and, and, and you move your finger. And I'm going to have to do it a little better. There we go. Move your finger. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might it might work a little better in person, <laughs> but but you take it. You see, you take you move this finger right here. Now, right, you watching? Now, stay with me. Now, <laughs> you watching? You ready? All right, here we go. Ready? All right, and you move your finger. I move it out there. <laughs> it ain't really moving it. What you do is you take your finger and and you take the other hand like this. Now you got to practice and take it and go like that. And then you move it, and it moves, but it don't really move. Take your finger, pull that finger back, put that thumb right there, and then you move it, and it looks like you're moving your finger. Well, let's move. <laughs> you can practice that later. Let's talk about Clifford, the big red dog. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's a big dog, isn't it? That's a big dog. That big dog don't need to stay on the porch because he can run with the big dogs. He's probably the biggest dog of all. 
Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog. She has a Let me pull this up here a little closer so you can see Emily Elizabeth and her big red dog. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog. Whoop. <clears throat> My dog is a big red dog. That is a big dog right there. Other kids have dogs, too. Some are big dogs, and they got dogs, but their dog is not as big as Clifford, the big red dog, is big. That is one big dog. Some are red dogs, but I have the biggest, reddest dog on my street. That is a big dog right there. You know, and being a being the daddy and the granddaddy, when I look at a big dog like that, I'm thinking, that dog costs an awful lot to feed. It costs an awful lot to, to, to take care of that dog. This is my dog, Clifford. What would you do if you had a big old dog like that? That's a big dog right there. You could ride that dog. You and the family could ride that dog, go to town on him. We have fun together. We play that. Look at that. She's riding on him herself. We go to town together. We ride together. I throw my stick, and he brings it back to me. He makes mistakes sometimes. Look at that. He, she threw the stick, and, and he brought the policeman back. He got the wrong stick, didn't he? The policeman had the baton. We play hide-and-seek. I'm a good hide-and-seek player. Y'all ever play hide-and-seek? I like to play hide-and-seek. You know, I'll just say, y'all go hide, and they go hide, and then you have a few minutes' peace before they get the feeling like you ain't coming to look for them. But, hey, you can go hide and, and hide somewhere, and then somebody comes looking for you. And if they're, look, if you're hiding, shh, you got to be real quiet while you're hiding. Shh. Let's all practice being real quiet. You're doing good. Let's practice. Shh. Be real quiet. And then when they come, and they get close to you, and they're about to find you. You go, hey! And you find them, and they found you, and there you are. And you found them, and they found them, and they're scared, and you scared them. <laughs> I can find Clifford no matter where he hides. Well, that big old dog can hide behind the house, but you're still going to find him. You know how she's going to find him? His tail's wagging. You know how you know how you can tell when a dog is happy when his tail's wagging. That dog be just wagging his tail away, He'd just be so happy to see you. And uh, they say if his nose is cold, he's healthy. I don't know about that, but anyway, we play camping out, and I don't need a tent. She said I don't need a tent. I just get under Clifford. He just lays there, and I'll be under him, and I'll have all my stuff out there, and I just sit right there under Clifford. And if it rains, it don't matter, cause Clifford to keep me safe and warm. I guess it's good to have a big red dog. I guess I might like to have a big red dog myself. He can do tricks too. He can sit up and beg. But you know, if a big old dog like that sat up and begged, you'd have to go up on the second floor to feed him and give him a treat. And so he sat up and begged, and she'll just go up there and take care of him, just like he just love that dog. That's a big dog. She likes that dog. Oh, I know I, he's not perfect. He has some bad habits. Now, that's one thing about dogs. When you get dogs, they have bad habits. But it's a dog, and you wanted one, so now you got to clean up after it or whatever. He runs after cars. He catches some of them. You know, I often wonder, have y'all ever seen a dog chase a car? Well, what's he going to do with it if he catches it? Nothing, <laughs> but he'll chase it anyway. I guess he feels like he's done something. If a dog chases a car and the car drives off, a dog comes back thinking, boy, huh, I sure, I guess I run that car off, and, and he thinks he's done something. So I guess, it makes, I guess that makes a dog happy, but, you know, we have to be careful. We keep them in the yard so they don't get run over, right? All right. <clears throat> he runs after cats, too. And uh, we don't go to the zoo anymore because he went to the zoo one time and he scared the lion and the zookeeper had to protect the lion from Clifford because he was leaning on the fence, leaning on the fence and pushing it over and had to protect that lion and keep him away from that dog. He digs up flowers. And that's a bad thing about dogs sometimes too is they dig up flowers. You know, we have chipmunks at our house. <laughs> 
And my wife, Miss Nanny, uh, Miss Regina, Nanny, Caleb's Nanny, she plants stuff in the backyard, and she'll <clears throat> she'll put buds back there, and, and she'll plant. She went to Holland one time. That's way across the ocean over there. And she went to Holland one time, and she bought a bunch of buds, a bunch of bulbs, and she came back. And she planted all them bulbs in the backyard, and she would just look. She was like, "Oh, it's gonna be so pretty! It's gonna be so pretty when we finally get all of those buds and bulbs and blow up and grow up in the backyard, and it's gonna be great, and it's gonna be wonderful." But it didn't happen. You know why it didn't happen? Because the chipmunks came and they <laughs> sniffed around and they found them bulbs, and between the chipmunks and the squirrels. They dug all of her bulbs up, and she didn't have no bulbs to grow up and didn't have a whole lot. Of fun. They missed one or two, but most of them got dug up. Old Clifford, when he decides to dig something up, it's going to be dug up. He may dig up a tree. I mean, he can dig up about anything. I got to put my glasses back on here. Getting a little old. <clears throat> Clifford loves to chew shoes. Now, that not, that's not a good thing. Dogs like to chew stuff. They like to chew leather. And if you got some nice shoes, and your dog will chew that leather. And so that's not a good thing, but it's a bad habit. And so he needs to stop that. It's not easy to keep Clifford. He eats and drinks a lot. Now, I can imagine a big dog like that will be eating and drinking a lot. Couldn't you? Hey, do you eat a lot? Caleb don't eat much of anything. Caleb eats Cheetos, and that's about it. But he'll start eating stuff later on. But do you eat a lot of stuff? I like hamburgers and hot dogs and Captain D's fish. I just, oh, I like I just like to eat a lot myself. But you have to be careful about that. But that's another story for another time. Later. <laughs> uh, his house was a problem, too. Now, that's the house that she lived in. And it's a little house, like a regular house that a boy and a girl would live in. But Clifford had to have a big house to live in. Why? Because he's a big dog. Remember, we're talking about Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> but he's a good watchdog. I'd want Clifford watching my house. If anybody came around, Clifford would bark, and he would bark and scare them off, and they would run away. And so it'd be a good thing to have a Clifford around. The bad boys don't come around anymore. Why, they only have to come around once or twice before they learn Clifford is going to run them off. And you know Clifford is a good dog because he protects the one that owns it. And that's the good thing about a dog is a dog will protect you. I was a boy. I was over at a friend of mine's house, and, and we were playing around. And I think his dog, his dog, what was his dog's name? His dog was a German Shepherd. Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, anyway, his dog decided that I was trying to beat up on him, and he started biting me. He bit me here. He bit me here. And when I was running away, he bit me somewhere else. I can't show you. But he did bite me. And so he was protecting his owner. So it's a good thing to have a dog that'll take care of you. <laughs> and so she said, you you know, after a while, old dog got dirty, and she said, "She said one day I gave I gave Clifford a bath, and I guess they, you know, they probably had to get a swimming pool. In fact, that's what they did. They got him and they put him in the swimming pool, and they washed him up in the swimming pool. I combed his hair and took him to a dog show. She had to use a rake from the garden to comb his hair. And Clifford, he's like, do you have to be combing my hair?" Do you have to? Well, you got to comb your hair to make it look nice. And so that's what they're doing. I'd like to say Clifford won, Clifford won first prize, but he didn't. I don't care. You can keep all your small dogs. You can keep all your black, white, brown, and spotted dogs. You can keep all your dogs. Everybody can have a dog, but there's only one. Clifford, the big red dog. I'll keep Clifford, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it be nice to have a have a big red dog? Well, that'd be something else. Where'd that, where that? If you had a dog at your house, where would that dog say? Would you let that dog sleep in your room? <laughs> I don't know. You know, sometimes you have to give him a bath. And you have to give him a flea collar. You know, because 
they get to scratching and they get fleas. And so we don't want fleas, but it's good to have a dog. I'm going to get you some more books, but that is Clifford the Big Red Dog. And I don't know when y'all going to hear this, but... I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you next week, all right? Hey, let's all give a salute to Clifford. You want to? Ready? Let's salute, and let's bark. Hoof, 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 hoof. That was my dog impression. Hoof, 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 hoof. That was my other dog impression. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. <laughs>